Okay, this is all in an effort to get my Sony SAWX700 active subwoofer back up on its feet. Uh, there was a guy that did a write-up on, or I'm sorry, a YouTube video on this, and he had replaced these two chips, the R831. This is in front. I know it's a little blurry, but in front. And here's here's a little chip that I desoldered. I mean, a little tiny thing. And his board had the same, very same resistor right here behind it for his 830. But mine has a separate board. And it does say 830. Or 830, but it says... 4.7 ohms, 5 watts. And these transistors are in the and this is the Sony service manual for this subwoofer. R830 say that they're oh it does say they're 4.7 ohms. Huh. 5 watts. Okay, so that's what I was getting at. They say a uh, quarter watt. So 4.7 ohms, 5% um, tolerance, a quarter ohm. When the one that's been soldered into... But I have two of these speakers. I bought them at the same time from, from eBay, Sony. I forgot. They were years ago. Um, and they're both, I didn't make any modifications. This is from Sony. They had put in a 4.7 ohm, 5 watt external chip um so for the r30 transistor in place of the r30 transistor it didn't keep it from going bad so that's you know here i am actually my subs work perfectly before i put them in storage and after i got them out of storage they i turned them on and bloop um second part that goes bad so you got the two transistors are here I don't know if this is going to be bad. I can't find anything on the internet about it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to buy two of these transistors. And if I can't get it to work, then I guess I'll take this out um, and replace it with one of the, the regular quarter watt transistors. Second part that goes bad is the C860. That's this little guy. Um, and it fits right here. Bada bing. So they're right next to each other on the board. Um, and that is right here. And the reason why I'm showing you right out of the ugh, right out of the, the Sony manual is because the part numbers that are on the forums are well, either I wrote them down wrong or they're wrong. Um, that's what I wrote down. Don't even take note of that. Um, this is straight out of the, the service manual. Unless Unless these are upgraded parts, I don't know. So I guess I could look into that too, or somebody could comment below. Um, but they're saying in the forums, 082 MF, 5% 50 volt. Um, I don't even, please don't call me stupid for not knowing what the MF is or the 0.082, but, or 082. Uh, but in the, uh, in the manual, it is saying, um one one three six one six six zero zero point one two uf so that's oh eight two mf and in the manual it's saying point one two uf five percent fifty volt so not sure what the difference is I'll have to look into that um but those are the two um part numbers um possibly three parts, I don't know, um, of what goes bad on these apparently. Because I was reading in the forums, and by replacing those two transistors, again, not considering this, that it's a separate board on mine, uh, the two transistors that are right there are resistors, my bad, um, and the capacitor right next to it, um, people are saying that their, their uh, Sony subwoofers are up and going again, so... And don't do what I did and uh, desolder um, whatever this is. It was right here. I read <laughs> it was. It said 
C uh, 858 and then it was 859 and so I assume that was 860 so I um, I desoldered it and it came apart and it's just a just a coiled wire so I think I'm gonna just try to pop it back in and solder it back in so anyway hope this helps somebody